Hello, let's dive right into another mystery pattern. It's been a minute. Okay, if you're new to the channel, I have a stack of patterns here that my son actually went through my library of patterns and put together for me. He blacked out anything to the best of his ability. He blacked out anything that could give away what the pattern is within the pattern. He has removed the titles and the pictures. We have no idea what we're working with. We just have the instructions. Let's go ahead and pick our number. We're getting a little thin here, so we will have to refill this bowl soon. And don't forget to check out my other library of all kinds of mystery videos, mystery patterns. And I forgot to mention these patterns come to us from the 1840s to the 1980s. Okay, let's see what we got. Number 12. Oh, I thought it was going to be right on top. <laughs> I was like, oh, we got it on top again. Number 12. And this one comes to us from the 19. 40s. I would like to start today's video with a very special thank you to Sabah. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Your name will be right here. Thank you so much for buying the coffee and for the extremely kind and thoughtful words. And now for today's mystery. Okay, so it says here the materials we need are pearl size cotton number five, two balls of any color, three balls will make mystery. Millward's steel crochet hook number five or six and a bone ring. Bone ring. 1940s. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I was going to say a pot holder, but why would they put a, use a bone ring for a pot holder? I don't know. Okay, starting at center, chain eight, join with a slip stitch. And we have a total of 12 rounds. Okay, so here's what I'm going to go with. Not at all what they asked for. I'm going to use this Lisbeth size three cotton, mostly because it was sitting right next to me and it's a really fun pumpkin-y color and I love that. And I'm gonna use a size three vintage Susan Bates hook with it. So I'm breaking some rules here. Okay, it says here to chain eight and join with the slip stitch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Join with the slip stitch. And this is a U.S. written pattern. So we will be working with U.S. terms. Okay, now it says chain five, double crochet in the ring, chain two, repeat six more times. Join to third stitch of the chain of the first chain five. May, of the, I'm sorry. Join to third stitch of chain five. First made eight spaces. Okay. So chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And double crochet in the ring. Let me fix my camera. I'm, I'm working way up high. I gotta bring my camera down. Okay, now it says we need to chain two and repeat six more times. Join to third stitch of chain five first made, eight spaces. Okay, so chain two and double crochet, chain, chain two, double crochet. I'll be right back. Okay, now I have a total of seven spaces made. I just need to chain two and slip stitch to the top of the third chain here. And second round, slip stitch in chain two space, chain three, two double crochet in same space, chain two. Okay, so let's just start with that one step at a time. We're gonna slip stitch into the chain two space. And then chain three, one, two, three. Work two double crochet in the same space. One, two, chain two, 
three double crochet into the next space. One, two, three, chain two and repeat all around, join to third, join to the top of the starting chain three. Okay, so that's chain two and then work three double crochet into the space. All right, I will be right back. It's pretty easy so far. I always jinx myself when I say that because then things get really complicated and weird. <laughs> okay, there we go. Pretty easy all around. Then chain two after you work your last Van Dyke stitch because um, that's what they're called. Then you'll just chain two and join into the top of this. Okay, so I just worked my last chain two, slip stitch into the top of our starting chain three. Okay, and for round three, chain three, and then work a double crochet in same place as slip stitch. One, two, three. I should be wearing my glasses. Just a moment. It's beginning to struggle a little. <laughs> okay, uh, same place as slip stitch, double crochet into the next double crochet. Two double crochet into the next, chain two, two double crochet into the next. Huh? No, no, no. I must have read that wrong. Okay, chain three, double crochet into the same place as slip stitch. Okay, got that. That's two double crochet into one stitch. Then it says double crochet into the next double crochet. We got that. Then it says two double crochet in next double crochet. Okay. I think I get it now. When it says chain two, we are I think we are skipping the chain two space. It's just not saying that. Okay, then it says chain two, two double crochet into the next. Yes, that's what it's that's what it's inferring to. So we're gonna work two double crochet on each end stitch and one double crochet into the middle stitch, all separated by a chain two. So we'll move that out of the way. This cord likes to twisty up a bit. As you can see, it's just from picking it up, it's twisty. Yeah. Okay, then we jump over and we work two double crochet, yes? Where was the repeat? Oh no, the repeat is one double crochet, no. Chain two, two double crochet. I swear, I have comprehension. Reading and comprehension issues as I get older. <laughs> One, two, one in the middle, and then on the last stitch, one and two, followed by chain two, skip the space and repeat. Two double crochet into the first, one double crochet into the middle, and two double crochet into the third. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished by chaining two and slip stitching to the starting chain three. So, just, that's better. So now we're going to chain three and double crochet in the same place. So we're gonna increase again. Double crochet in the next three, two double crochet in the next chain two. Okay, so we're gonna increase. So it's beginning to look like a, well, a diamond. So chain three, get this out of your way. And I've got clouds today. I've got a little bit of cloud coverage today. Okay, double crochet into the same 
place, one into each of the next three. One, two, three, and then two on the end. One, two, chain two. That was a chain two, right? Yes, chain two. Okay, and then repeat. So two double crochet in your first and last stitch, one in the three in the middle. So pretty simple, pretty, pretty much keeping in tune with what we've been doing. Chain two and join at the end. So I'll be right back whenever I'm done with round four. Okay, I was just looking at round five and we're gonna increase again, exactly like we just did this round. Uh, we're gonna start with three double crochet, I'm sorry, chain three, double crochet in the same place for an increase. Then we're going to double crochet into the next five stitches and then two into the last. Now we're gonna chain three this time and then begin again begin working the increases. So instead of chain two, it's gonna be chain three, and we're gonna be working five double crochet between the increases. Of course, meaning the first and last stitch are where the increases are, one, two, three, four, five in the middle. So we have to work three chains this time between the increases, between the groups of increases. Let me be clear on that. So that's my first increase. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Then work an increase into the last stitch. Chain three and repeat an increase into the first, one double crochet into each of the next five, then an increase on the end, followed by the chain three, then chain three and join. I'll be right back. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to round six. I haven't looked at it yet. Okay, okay, slip stitch into the next double crochet, chain three, and then we start the repeat. So slip stitch over. Likely going to close off the diamond now. My guess, no more increases. Okay, uh, double crochet into the next six and then chain three single crochet into the chain three space, chain three, skip one double crochet, double crochet into the next repeat from here. Okay, yeah. So into the next six, get this out of your way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. That should have made a total of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain three, single crochet. Chain three, skip the first double and work six across. Shouldn't it be seven across? It's not going to say to the next six. So we're going to be one short. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll be one short. So it may have been an oversight, but we should be working into the next seven, not six. Sure, six here because we already started off with the chain three after skipping. But that's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that could have just been a simple, I mean, it's not as if, I'm not going to judge because uh, I miss oversight over here. 
so I'm not going to judge. Yeah, it's got to be seven, two, three, single crochet, one, two, three, skip the first double and work into the next seven. So I will be right back. Yeah, that can only be seven. Chain. You're going to chain three, work a single into the last chain space, chain three, and slip stitch into the top of your starting chain three. Okay, there we go. That is round six done. Again, I would recommend just doing seven double crochet, not six. I think they probably could have e eliminated this asterisk asked for a double crochet into the next six double crochet chain three single crochet into the chain three space actually this is where the repeat should have started was at the chain three and then moved on to working seven and in, into the remaining groups it's okay um let's go ahead and start the seventh round, slip stitch into the next double crochet, chain three, double crochet into the next four, chain four, single crochet into the chain three space, single crochet into the next single crochet. Okay, so we're going to work th three single crochet into the, we're going to work a single crochet here into the chain space, a single on the single, and then a single in the chain space just after to put three in a row. Skip one, no, uh, chain four, skip one double, double into the next, repeat from around. Okay, so slip stitch over, now this will give us five stitches, and they aren't telling us to work five double crochet anywhere, but we're going to need to chain three for our first double, then work one into each of the next four for a total of five. One, two, three, unless this is meant to be a spiral. No, it because they wouldn't be doing this if it was meant to be a spiral, right? Could I be being completely arrogant about this and this is meant to be a spiral? That's not how spirals work. No, that's not how spirals work. Okay, so now we have five. One, two, three, four, five. Chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet into the chain space. Single over the single and single into the next chain space. One, two, three. The next time I may actually work into the chains. I think actually this time I will. I think it might look better if I work into the chains. So into the third chain of the first space. One, then into the single crochet. two, then into the first chain of the next chain space. Yeah, that looks cleaner, I think. One, two, three. Skip the first double and work five doubles in a row. One, Well, I wish I quit popping my hook. That'd be cool. <laughs> Two, three, four, and five. Chain three into the chain space. I'm just going to go ahead and work into the chain. One over the double, over the single crochet makes two and into the last chain or the first chain of the next space. And that makes three in a row. 
Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, now there we go. Time for round eight. And we're gonna slip stitch over, chain three, double crochet into the next two, chain five, single crochet. Okay. So, little doggy hair. Merlin had a bath and a brush last night, so we have a little bit of excess hair floating around the house today. Yeah, I'm just seeing it everywhere. <laughs> My little Merlin. <laughs> Okay, chain three, and then double crochet into each of the next two for a total of three. Now we're going to chain three. I really haven't read the rest of the instructions. I probably should, but I can just assume what we're gonna do. My assumption is we're gonna work a double crochet into each of the spaces and one over the top of each of the single crochet, not double singles. And then we're gonna work our three double crochet over here onto the next group. Uh, chain five, single crochet in chain four space, single crochet in next three single crochet, single into the next space, chain five, skip one double, double, into the next double, which we need, actually, we need to double into the next three. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna work one single crochet. Oh, well, that one's so tight, I'm just gonna go around the chain. One over each double, single. <laughs> the British are watching this and going, yeah, no, you said it right. <laughs> Single, single. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one double, work one into each of the next three. I know I'm breaking all the rules, not following the pattern it precisely is written. I have a feeling that there was an oversight. You see what I mean? I'm I'm feel confident that this is gonna have a picture because A, it's a 1940s pattern and this comes from one of my magazines that features patterns from all decades and they almost always include pictures. Let's see here, let's look at round nine. Slip stitch into the next double, chain three, two double into the same place. Are we gonna go back out again? Let's look at uh, the 10th round, single, into the same place as slip stitch chain five no we're totally changing okay so we'll leave nine for nine here we go now we're going to chain five and single or double if you are in the uk single over each single and another single into the space one, two, three, four, five, and one double into each of the next three. I suppose that as things change, come round nine or round 10, we'll see if I just arrogantly did this my own way and I should, and I, I should have just followed the pattern and it will be my own fault if I have to unravel half of this and start over. What I mean is at this point. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna finish working this all around. Okay, let's get into round nine now. And slip stitch in next, in next double crochet, chain three, two double crochet into the same space. Now that's just gonna give us three double crochet again. So I feel like we're dealing with a, an issue of multitude of errors here when all we really should be doing is that. Let's see here, single crochet in same place as slip stitch. 
chain five, skip three single crochet, treble, and next single crochet. Chain five. Okay, so if I join here, here we're going to work some, some single crochets. Okay, it's a cluster. So they, maybe they want us to do a cluster. So maybe that's what they're asking us to do. Yes. Chain three, two double crochet. Okay, so actually, if I may, a little tip. We're actually gonna do a cluster. So I'm glad I read on. Chain two instead of chain three. When you chain three and you make a cluster, uh, it looks like it has a humpback. So if you just chain two, you, you eliminate that excess baggage, yarn over and into the same stitch. Yarn, pull, just th pull through two, like you're working a double crochet. And then just pull through two again. And then you've made your cluster and look how nice and neat that looks now when you start with a chain two. It's so much neater. Okay, so we made a cluster, okay. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet, single crochet, and the next five single, okay, so we're gonna have seven single crochet in a row. So here we go. One, making my stitches too tight. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven, chain six. And I am just gonna assume we make another cluster here into the center stitch. So yarn over, pull through two, like you're working a double crochet, pull through two, and then one more time, pull through two, Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we work our seven single crochet in a row, followed by a chain six, and then we work our cluster. I do wonder if a two stitch cluster wouldn't look better. I just made one there. because the three seems a little bit bulky. Oh, but it starts off with three down here, doesn't it? Don't think that matters. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just worked my seven single crochet in a row real quick off camera. Two, three, four, five, six. And I think I'm just gonna do a two stitch cluster. It doesn't call for three, it actually calls for two. I actually think that looks better than the three. I do. So that's the way I'm going to do it. Three, four, five, six. And I'm going to work my seven double crochet in a row, followed by my cluster all the way around. I'll be right back. I said seven double crochet in a row. I meant to say single. I have no idea why today I keep conflating single with double. I don't know. And I apologize for that. I'm sure it's annoying. I meant to say single. Okay, there we go. That is round nine. And let's move on to round 10. And actually, I need to move this over. And I'm going to need to pick that up. Okay, round 10. Single crochet in the same place as slip stitch. Chain five. Skip three treble in the next single crochet, chain two, treble in the same single crochet, repeat from, okay, two more times, and then chain five, single crochet in tip of, cl of next cluster, repeat from, from here. Oh, so repeat this from here, and then repeat this from here, okay. So chain one, 
and work a single crochet into the same spot. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip three single crochet. One, two, three. Let me, we're gonna do a US treble. That is a UK double treble. Skip three singles. One, two, three. Well, that puts me over, did I miscount? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Yeah, that puts us right in the middle. Okay. And we're going to work a US treble. Okay. US treble. Chain two. And then another US treble, UK double treble into the same spot. Essentially creating a V stitch. Right? Yes. And then repeat from here. Chain two. And another treble in the same spot. Two more times, okay, so chain two and then one final into the same spot. So that gave us four or three chain two spaces with four trebles, UK double trebles. Chain five and single crochet into the top of the cluster and then repeat chain five Let me get that out of your way three four five okay one two three right here One, chain two, two, chain two, three, chain two, and four, chain five. And then a single crochet onto the cluster. Okay. There we go. That is how it should be looking so far. At least I think that's how it should be looking. Okay, so I'm gonna work this all around and I started here actually. So let me go ahead. No, that's not the right kind of slip stitch. Or, let me get a stitch marker and go ahead and mark my starting single crochet. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so there we go. That is row 10, round 10, forgive me. Let's move on to round 11. We only have two more rounds to go. So here it says we are to chain six, double crochet in the same place as slip stitch. Then we get into the repeat. Chain three, four single crochet. So we will, we will go through all that as it comes. So we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double crochet into the same place as the slip stitch. Now it says to chain three. One, two, three and four single crochet in the chain five space. One, two, three, four. And then it says single crochet in the chain two space and then chain three. Okay, so say so we're gonna skip over the treble and single crochet into the chain two space and chain three. One, two, three. 
and next space make double crochet chain three double crochet so in this middle so we've got three chain two spaces so in the middle one we're going to work a double one chain three and then another there's two okay and then chain three single crochet in the next space four single crochet in the next loop chain three so we're just going to do this part again so chain three and then in the last space work a single then we skip over the treble and we're going to work five singles into the chain four singles into the chain five space one two three four and then it was chain three and then in the next single crochet make a double chain three double repeat from here okay get that out of your way and the single here we're gonna work a V stitch a double a chain three and a double then it said to repeat from here so we okay so we're gonna do the chain three four singles we're gonna okay look at that made like a little that's cute okay so chain three so let's go over this repeat together chain three work four singles one two three four skip the treble and we're going to work a single into this first chain space chain three Work a V stitch into the center chain space. So one double, chain three, one double. And then we work to chain three. And we repeat the single here. Four singles here. One, two, three, four. And then We work to chain three, a V stitch, and then, and then a chain three. So chain three in the top of that single, work a V stitch, one, chain three, and two. And then chain three. So then we just carry on that is how this section is meant to look. Your five singles in a row, essentially, then chain three, V-stitch, chain three, then five singles in a row, chain three, V-stitch, chain three, and repeat. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and work this off camera, and I'll be right back. Besides, my phone needs to charge a little bit. So I'll be right back. Okay, there we go, round 11 one more round to go let's see here and we're going to start by slip stitching into the space okay and we're going to work a chain six one two three four five six double crochet into the same space so we made a V-stitch, okay, chain three, and single crochet in the next space. So right here, I do wish this wasn't so twisty. Okay, single crochet in the next space, chain two, Skip two single crochet, one, two, and single crochet into the next. Okay. Uh, I feel like I got lost. 
Okay, single crochet into the next. Chain two, single crochet in next space. Next space, single crochet. Chain three. In next space, between double crochets, make double crochet, chain three, make a, make a V-stitch. So right here, double crochet, chain three, and another double. Okay. And then we repeat. So chain three, and single crochet into the space. Chain two, skip two singles, one, two, make a single in the next one, chain two, single in the space. Well, wait a minute, we're at the point now. Are we gonna do this all around to all the points or? No, maybe. No, I'm confused. Okay, so we go single, chain three, V-stitch. Yeah, I think we are gonna do all of them. Okay, one, two, three, double crochet in the same space, chain three, single crochet into the next space, chain two, and we have five single crochet here. So into the third single crochet over. Ooh, I'm off camera, shoot. One, two, single crochet. One, two, three, V-stitch. One, two, three, single crochet. One, two, third single crochet over, work a single. Chain two, work a single in the space. And then chain three and work a V-stitch again. Okay, so I'm gonna finish working this all around and I will be right back. So that's how it is meant to be looking now. Okay. Well, that's kind of neat. That's how it's going to look all around. I'll be right back. Okay, there it is. The 12 rounds. I know that there are some more instructions here at the bottom. Make a circular pad six and a half inches in diameter. Cover pad with any colorful material. Sew crocheted pieces to pad. Sew bow ring bone ring at the top. Well, first of all, six and a half inches, I definitely, no, so I used a thread too big, but I'm not mad about it because, well, my finger doesn't hurt today, so that's okay. All right, let me uh, go. Actually, I need to wait just a little bit. Justin, I'm, I'm doing this very early in the morning. Justin is not quite up yet, and he has all the pictures and title and everything. So we gotta wait a little, well, I gotta wait a little longer for you guys, it'll be like that. So I'll see you in a second, in an hour second. <laughs> okay, so it was a two and a half hour second. All right, here we go. Here's our final piece and it's called Lucky Star. That's where the bone ring goes. So what do you suppose this is? A, a hot pad maybe? Maybe it is a oven mitt or a hot pad. Whatever it is, something else was cut out over here. But anyways, it's called Lucky Star. It's from the 1940s. And I think I did a pretty good job. Now let's take a close look. Let me get my little pointer here. Okay, so we note in the pattern, 
it wanted us to work six stitches across. It didn't say nothing about working seven. Then up here, all of them were, were miscounted in my humble opinion. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just see if I got it right or wrong. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I was right. Up here should be five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's check another one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So yes, I got it right. And then three, and then let's look at that cluster. Well, it does look like they used a three stitch cluster at the very, very top. That's okay. That's okay. I think it looks good like this. The points are pointier. Okay, guys, so there we go. There's our mystery pattern for today. You do not have to sew it to this. You can just use this as a really cute doily. Let's see, what can I put on it? So picture this on your vanity or on your nightstand and you've got your ring box or your just trinket jewelry box and then like your little ring holder. And there you go. It can hold things and it's pretty. Why not? Okay, guys, I love you lots and I will see you very, very soon in the next video. I'm energized.